businesses are always concerned with the return rate of customers. So in this example, I have um, my type of business, which is classes. So uh, my first class, the list is here, and the second class is the list is in this in the second column B. And I'm concerned with how many people have signed up for the first class that have returned for the second class. Now, I have the people that are listed in this column, and I have 25, and there, there's 25 in the second column, but they're not in the same order because people don't register the same in the same order in the second time as they do in the first. And so now what I'm going to do is run run the code and what it's going to do is it's going to re it is going to place the name of the returning customer here and then it's going to calculate how many what the percentage is of people that I have in my second class that were in my first class and so let's go to the developer tab and let's go to macros and let's go to percentage return and I'm going to run this And so there you have the people that have returned. And now um, I have five people down here that aren't in the second list. So these are the ones that were, are in both lists. And it's 84% of, uh, of my people that were in the first class or in the second class. Now, these names are all from the random name generator. If your name happens to be on here, you're just a lucky person. So I'm not giving anybody's information here. And so let me show you the code on how I did this. And so we have sub percentage return and I have a name as a string, last row is an integer, find range as a range, R um, as a row number, count as the count, as integers, um, attendance percent, which is a double, and last row is active sheet, used range, rows count minus one and why i'm trying to do that is um i'm trying i have 25 people here and if i don't go minus one my last row is going to be 26 and it's going to um throw off my percentage r is equal to two because i have header rows so when i'm running this what i'm going to delete is um the cell where my percentage is in and then i'm also going to delete the um the names that are returning so now we go down the name list and then what we're going to do is for two to last row um what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to take the name from the first column and we're going to search in the b column to find if they're there and if they found if they did not find anything so if found range is nothing then count equals count plus one. Um, else, active sheet cells R3 equals name. So if it, they did find it in the B column, then it's going to be put in the returning column in C and go at, and then go to end E, which end E goes back to the beginning of the loop. Um, now, to calculate the percentage, what I did is... Um, Basically, as I took the count of people that haven't um, that that haven't returned, dividing it by the number of rows minus one. Remember, we did that at the top, and I need to take it from a hundred. So we're trying we're getting a hundred one minus the count of the people that haven't come back. Now I'm going to display this row in uh, D uh, D two. And then I'm going, to, I'm going to format this number to be a percentage similar to this one. So that is how you calculate the percent of the number of two columns being the same or not. I will, of course, include the code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.